Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Arnar Ross. So this video is going to be really exciting and new as I am going to be busting some of the most famous space myths that all of us here and some believe in it. So let us start the first myth that is that a sun is yellow in color. Well, the truth is that the true color of the sun is white. But as sunlight travels through the atmosphere, its color changes simply from white to orange, which we see. And do you know that the sky is blue in color? Well, this is the myth that most of us believe in. But the truth, the reality is something else. And that is, during the day, blue light of the sky scatters high in the atmosphere, giving the sky its blue color, the color that we see, and it makes the sun appear yellow orange. -ish. So, let us move to another myth that is stars in the constellation are really close together. But the truth is that despite appearing to be close together, the stars that form the constellations are often separated by tens or hundreds of light years, like Orion might look like a warrior with a shield. But from elsewhere in the galaxy, the stars would look distant and unconnected. And it is only by chance that we humans get to see them in groups by standing on the Earth's surface. The next myth is that the moon has a dark, disclosed side. Well, let's see what is the truth. Just because we cannot see the other side of the moon, it doesn't mean that it is dark. Carefully looking at the phases of the moon clearly disapproves this myth. And during the full moon, the side that we see is fully illuminated and the other side surely is in complete darkness. But at any other time of the month, we can only see a particular part of the moon. The rest of the light is falling on the so-called dark side. Now the next myth is that the Mercury is the hottest planet in our solar system. While most of us know what the truth is, let's still see what is its clear explanation. So. Mercury is not the hottest planet of our solar system due to the following obvious reason. And the reason is that Mercury lacks its own atmosphere. So what happens is that when the sun's light and heat falls on Mercury, it simply passes away, not getting binded or trapped in its surface. And Venus, as we know, has a really thick atmosphere with Huge amounts of carbon dioxide, which helps in trapping and also results in the greenhouse effect, which makes it the hottest planet of our solar system. Now, thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it and found it informative, do not forget to hit the like button. Also, if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Also, comment down below which of videos would you like to see. Thank you for watching.